Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about iOS 26 and also I'm going to answer your comments. So this is another week, another Q&A video. But before talking about your comments, before seeing your comments, I want to talk about the next update. Well, the next update is going to be iOS 26 beta 8. Well, if I show you the build number of iOS 26 beta 7, let me lower down the brightness a bit over here and go into the journal about section and over here as you can see there is a at the end of the bill number now whenever there is a at the end of the bill number usually we get next update as the rc update so are we expecting rc update next week um well no we are not expecting rc update next week we are still expecting another one beta maybe maybe there are going to be eight developer beta so we are expecting ios 26 developer beta 8 next week and talk about, about the release date definitely monday is the day when we are expecting this so it is going to be the 25th august i believe the next week we will get rc update and the another next week like week after week we are going to get the public release this is what i believe but definitely i will do more videos about that after doing a bit of a research but for now 25th august is going to be the release day of ios 26 beta 8 and also iOS 26 public beta 5 so this is so far talking about what we can expect from this update definitely more um liquid glass elements here and there more enhancements so far beta 7 was not a big update and it feels that apple has actually covered most of the stuff they wanted to release so more things will be coming also there is a news regarding gemini that apple is gonna bring gemini with siri this is a big news and i will make a proper separate video about this very very soon that will be available on the channel so make sure to subscribe for that video now without any further delay let's get dive into the youtube studio and let's see what you guys been asking me and how things are going on with you guys so i was 18.2 mail app change you were thanks a lot it works okay great my fifth my phone 15 pro max 18.6 pedal should i do this good or bad 18.6 pedal is a decent update it's a public release not a beta update so you can definitely install it um also 18.6.1 was a very important update and so yeah you should install it 18.6 pedal it's a decent good update i use mine while charging sometimes just can't help it Sometimes in case of emergency, I do understand I also use my device sometimes in case of emergency. But uh, for the most of the time, I prefer not to use the device while, you know, charging. Because when you are charging, it is your battery life. Just imagine that you are charging your device. Your battery is going up. But at the same time, you're also using the device. So the battery is going down. So it feels like they're both are fighting. At one point it want to goes up, at the other point it want, want to goes down. So this fight can destroy the battery health. So it is always good not to use while charging. What is this? Good. Okay, great. Yes, battery life is very good on 18.6.2 as compared to 18.6. Definitely it is better than the 18.6. Stop using the accent if you live, leave in Europe. We don't like it. I don't live in Europe. <laughs> Sorry guys for this. But I'm not using accent like... I don't know if I'm using accent. If I'm using accent, I'm sorry. But uh, I don't live in Europe. I'm from Asia. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help you out, guys. So I don't think these things matter. I don't think accent kind of stuff matter. What matter over here is that I'm trying to help you guys with your iPhone and iOS. Having slow charging issues after this update on 15 Pro. However, around uh, what what hovering around seven watt now. My graph overnight while on magnetic charger showed a gradual decrease, then a very slow increase. And was it 15 percent when I took it off the charger? It decreased while charge up, not in use. Then battery health is still. I always okay. I understand what you are trying to say. Some. Sometimes these things can happen. Sometimes there are things that are going in the background. Um, you just want to refresh your device. So just restart your device once it will get refreshed. And if there is unnecessary thing going in the background, it will kill that. And 
it will start charging in a proper way. Bro, my 15 Pro Plus has a worse benchmark like single core is at 2488, um, multi core is at 6253. A two also lower than the average. What I do many frame drops happen while playing games or apps, but my battery life is at 87 percent. Okay, um, there could, could be a possibility that um, you're not charging your device in a right way. Um, as with I, I'm not sure, I you didn't mention which iOS version you're using, so I'm assuming that you are using 18.6.2 that is out for like a couple of days. What I will suggest you. Uh, try to use a good charger because when your device is not charging properly it will not deliver a uh, proper performance so charging matters a lot but also you can dm me on instagram and we can talk further and see what is going on with your device i just told the update this morning at 4 a.m and now it is 6 p.m and um, my battery life is doing good less than 24 hours it could be it should be getting even be better within the next few days as it's done finishing in the background. Yeah, definitely we all know that iOS takes a couple of days to get better. So I'm hoping that it will get better. Okay, on the iPhone 13 Pro, does the operating time increase? Operating timing? I don't know what is meant by operating time. But if you are talking about the screen on time, it is a decent 18.6.2 is a decent update. 18.6.1 my battery drains as fast as vomit okay so just update to 18.6.2 18.6.2 is a good update also you didn't mention your battery health you didn't mention your iphone so you, i cannot guide you properly but you can update to 18.6.2 battery life is a mess give it a day or so it will get better so yeah these are some of your comments that i wanted to add in this video Let's see if we can add more one. I lost 10% battery every 20 minutes. My phone has become useless. This is true. Just restore my device back to 8.6.2 because the battery life of immensely better. Okay, so over here is like 8.6.2 is a good battery life. If you're using 18.6.1 update to 18.6.2, hopefully you will get a good battery life over here. Clickbait. No, it was not a clickbait. 18.6.2 was out and I made a video about that. It was not a clickbait. I start trying to update again in the public beta. If I do, how can I get update to the official release without losing data? Well, it depends. So we are uh, expecting RC updates soon. And once the RC update will out, we can, you know, I can suggest you better stuff. But for now, I can't say anything about that. Well, these are some of your comments I wanted to include in this video. Also talk about the release date of iOS 18 point, sorry, 26 beta 8. Um, how things are going on your end. You can just drop your comments for the next week. A weekly video is also I'm planning to do live sessions. I'm still thinking about that. I want to do on Instagram or maybe on YouTube. Still planning on that. If it proceeds, I will let you guys know. Well, that's all from this video and I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.